No, oh, hey guys, how's it going? Storm's coming. I got to get out here. Got to get a few things done. And uh, so what I'm doing is loading up some of these uh, beetle barns. Shooting a little. I'm shooting a little combat roach gel bait. They make this stuff in an ant form too, but I don't use. I use the, and this. Uh, see, I just use a little small bit. Just a little. Just put a little worm like that on there. It's a brown-looking substance. I've been using this stuff for years. It seems like it works pretty good. But anyway. Yeah, I don't know if I ever told you the story. Uh, I'm kind of the last of this, uh, last of the tribe. Yeah, last of this tribe. I think once I, once I'm gone, that'll be the end of the tribe totally, you know. But as the story goes, my great grandmother told me the story about how I, how I came about. Was that my, my. Uh, uh, Great 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 grandfather, I think that's the way it goes. Anyway, it was my grandma, uh, my great grandmother's father. Right. He, uh, they, they were all in the tra uh, Trail of Tears. The government, you know, was. This is why I don't trust my government much. You know, they, you're probably wondering why don't Steve ever trust trust the government. Because I don't, because they're just so much full of shizit, you know? Anyway. Yeah, she goes on with a story telling me. I said, well, she said, let me tell you how we got our, our tribal name. I said, okay, cool. So she said, well, he, your grandfather, he snuck us off from the Trail of Tears. He said, well, we can't take this. These people are going to kill us. we got to get out of here. Everybody was starving to death, right? So he said he st he snuck us out. His wife and the kids and all snuck us out of there in the middle of the night, and we snuck away. He said we, she said we ran away, and we're traveling all night, all night, just get away from as far as we can. So this went on for days. He built a bow. He didn't have anything. He didn't have a knife or anything. He was able to break rocks, make knives, make arrowheads, make arrows, make a bow. And she said the women uh, made bow strings. They ate. Anyway, yeah. He was a provider, great provider, great chief, Indian chief, right? But he said we got we can't have their name. I, she said I think she said I don't know what tribe we were originally from. I don't know where we were Blackfoot, Sioux, a Flathead or what. She said I don't remember Mohawk. She, I don't know what we were. All right. But he said we can't have the same name because they'll find out who we are and then they'll they'll either kill us or whatever. But if we come up with a new name. They'll just say, well, they never got rounded up. We don't know who these people are. So she said, that's how we got away with it. Anyway, they're going on for days and days and days and days. He, he said, I don't, know, I don't know what to name our tribe. So he's thinking, thinking, you know. He's Finally, they got way out there, some way out there, she said. We were out there in the middle of nowhere. And he crawled up on top of this, this knoll. And he's like this. She said, Grandma said he was like this. Looking, looking, looking. And all of a sudden, he says, Where the fuck are we? And she said, We just busted out loud. We were laughing so hard. Where the fuck are we? And she said, We were laughing so hard. And he turned around. She said, All of a sudden, was mad. What are you children laughing about? They said, we all said at the same time, what you just said. And he got to thinking about it, and then he busted out laughing. He said, well, children, I guess we have our new name. 
the Fakawi tribe. So that's how it all happened, guys. And I'm the last of the Mohegans. So yeah, that's how the whole that's how the whole thing started. And once I die, that'll be the end of the Fakawis. Okay. Yeah, I just had to break that little story to you guys. What do I got here, guys? What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Joe's got me so upset, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Two, two, four, two, four, six. This'll be eight. This'll be number eight. I got 20 hives here. I'm finished the, finishing the season out with 23 hives. Sold all the rest. I may sell a pile of them in the spring and just retain, I don't know, five maybe. I can make a ton of beehives with just a handful of bees. That's it, that's seven, that's nine. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, yeah, what we got to do, guys, is get out here. The game plan today, get out here, install these, pull out whatever we see. Whatever we see in there, this in right there handy. There could be some of these down lower. I'm not. I'm not ripping them down. No, we're gonna. I'm gonna alcohol wash a few. I have some alcohol here. I have some soapy water too. I've never used soapy water, but a lot of the guys are using it. So I made up a batch. Uh, I got the clear, the uh, clear soap, Dawn, and I put a tablespoon in per gallon. They say. So I've made that up. They say make it up a day or two ahead of time. And so I've done that. And I might run, a, I may just for the, just for giggles use some of that. I've got quite a bit of alcohol here. And I don't, you don't need to do a bunch. No, you don't need to do every hive. That's ridiculous. Just do, I got 20 hives right here. Uh, there's three more at another site. So we'll just see what the, what the average is, you know, maybe do three three out of this whole flipping yard. You may have one over here with a 20 mic count. You may have one over here with a 40 mic count. I don't know. Or you maybe have, hopefully, we got a one or two mic count. Because I don't want to treat, we're going to be going into pepper here real quick. It's starting to pop. I was on the causeway. And they're just starting to, they're starting to pimple out there. They're going to pop. So... Yeah, we, we need to get this. I want to get the excluders in there. You could just leave them on, and what will happen, the bees will, if you don't have excluders, they'll, they'll be, you know, like, got brood running all over the place. What you can do is, uh, what I plan on doing today is chasing the bees down, and whatever's existing there, get that queen below, put an excluder in on the very top one. That'll give us five frames of deep on each one that we can harvest. And then they'll fill those up and then start pushing down. They'll they'll fill up they'll fill up ten frames and not a problem if they're worth their salt at all at all. These you know if the bees are any good, they're gonna fill up that. And you can make oh man, I used to run I used to run a do, I, deep, ten frame deep back in the day when I was running honey production. I just run a single, single deep box, excluder, and four four shallows and if I had to do it all over again uh, I probably wouldn't I know a fellow over here a good friend of mine he runs all deeps I said forever he's got like 5,000 deeps he runs and I said good lord and what he does he goes out at harvest time and he'll those fruit pickers the Mexican fruit pickers he will gather some of them up because there's will be a slack time in there. They don't have a job, whatever. He gathers some of them up and puts them in bee suits so they don't get eaten alive. And then he takes them out and they harvest honey. And I said, good Lord, you're going to kill them little guys with those 10 frame. He runs all 10 frame deeps, guys. 
and 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 he's he's all neck all right he's like fifth generation beekeeper he's all neck he's all arms he's he's kind of a short squatty guy that's like with the pioneers they said back in the day the only ones that really made it back in the day were the short stocky squatty guys like little cavemen knuckle draggers okay them dudes could make it back in the pioneer days because you're you're humping some huge heavy loads it, whether what it, it didn't matter what it was you were always humping huge loads and you know most of the guys that were slimmer like myself that have already gone through a double hernia yeah double hernia <laughs> when when mine blew guys when mine blew i had three knots about yay big down low here three of them popped i had two that were sensitive and then I, all of a sudden i'm working and you know, i felt another one popped out so i got three down there and i'm like whoa whoa and i started like mm, no you better quit you better stop so i went in i laid down took some aspirin laid down and i called the man i said i gotta get down and see you he said, man, you got a triple freaking hernia. And if that thing pops, you strangulate a gut, and you're going to get gangrene, and we're going to chop your guts out. I said, oh, no. Uh, don't sign me up for none of that, but do sign me up for a hernia repair. But anyway, I drifted off a little bit. Yeah, let's, let's go out. I'm going to finish these. We'll get some alcohol here. Storm's coming. The bees are probably going to be totally pissed off. That's okay. Steve-O's got his monkey suit on here, and they can try to kick my ass all they want to, but we're going to get into them and do our job. That's what you got to do. If you're, you know, you guys are out there working bees, there's days that, you know, it ain't all sunshine and, and roses and lollipops. You got to get out there and get the job done. And especially if you go into commercial beekeeping, guys. I mean, it's it's uh, it's some serious action now. You can't just you know pick days when you want to. You're gonna have to get out there and get her done. But hobbyists, you know, you can you can do that sort of thing. But be thinking of that if you're thinking about going into this commercially. It gets downright it gets downright dirty and nasty. I'm telling you, it isn't. This ain't no cakewalk. And you better be in good shape, guys, for this. I'm telling you. I see some of these fat beekeepers out there, and I'm going, oh, my God, they're walking heart attacks. Great big bellies on them. I mean, good Lord. I mean, you can't, you can't operate like that. So get in shape. Get in some kind of shape. Quit smoking. Quit drinking, okay? If you're going to be on Steve-O's team, you got to stop smoking. you got to stop drinking. It's all craziness. Develop a carnivore diet. Start out keto and, and, and drift into carnivore, all right? That's how we're designed to function. I don't care what these idiots on the left tell you. They all want us on a high-carb diet so we can be completely controlled by Big Pharma and the government for handouts, okay? We don't want their friggin' stuff, all right? We got to do our own thing. This is not how America was, was, was made, okay? No. God bless you guys for coming by today. Are you feeling the love yet, guys? Are you feeling the love? God bless you. Uh, what else do we want to talk about today? Nothing depressing. Oh, I wanted to ask you, what... When... I just want to ask a simple question. Simple question. You would think I'd get a simple answer, wouldn't you? You would think I could get a simple answer. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Color me stupid, I don't know. I just wanted some simple answers to some very important questions. When, when in the hell, guys, when in the hell is Joe gonna be thrown in jail, okay? Yeah, when's he going to jail? This is ridiculous. Every day he gets out of bed, he's breaking the law. 
with all of his other buddies in there, okay? So I'm just asking questions. I don't know. These go together pretty good. They're cheap. If they get really warpied out, you know, this thing looks warped out here. Let's see how it goes together here. It's going to work. Yeah, it's going to work. It clicked together. That'll work. Uh, the way I clean these, I, when I rotate these out, I just pull them out of the hive. I throw them in bucket. I got this one of my ones I just loaded, right? We're going to go out with another bucket and throw the ones that uh, we, just, we don't take them apart. They're going to be stuck together, right? Pull them out of the hive, shake the bees off, throw them in another bucket. So you got two buckets out there. And then you... Uh, grab this fresh one that's already loaded with your new bait boom boom one comes out one goes in that's simple guys that's simple yeah there's one here it's an old one that never got cleaned out but what I do with them is throw them all in a ziplock throw them all in a, in a ziplock a gallon or two gallon ziplock and throw them in the freezer overnight then I get a box of Kleenex right here and I pop them open but do this if you're gonna do this on dining room table all right put newspaper down do not get this and you better be careful you don't get this when you pop these apart propolis is gonna be popping off and if it goes over on Miss Daisy's floor and she comes in there in her stocking feet, whatever, and steps in that prop lift, you're gonna get your ass chewed out, all right? So, ask me how I know that, guys. Ask me how I know that. But I'm just saying, your, your, your Miss Daisy is gonna have the same reaction, okay? So I'm just giving, I'm just trying to help you guys. Let's, I'm, Steve-O's here to help. You know that, okay? All right. That's enough of this shenanigans. I got enough here to we can rock and roll here. I've got a... See, here's one that's warped out too much. It's locked in on these tabs here, but it's just... There's too much warpage there. This is going in the garbage. Yes. But yeah, what you can do when you when you take these out of the freezer, like I said, set up, get your uh, here's another one. It will not lock down. It's garbage. Get your newspaper set up. Do not get this stuff on your Miss Daisy's floor. I'm telling you right now. You might better just if you think you're going to take it outside, okay? And don't don't put it where you're going to be walking on concrete, say, in a nice clean area. Now, to get into these, I just take a fillet knife here, and you can pop these open. Here's another one that didn't get cleaned. That happens. Sometimes they get in the wrong bucket. Here's another one. This is screw up. This is another one screw up. Okay, I think I got enough. Uh... Take a little string here, drill a hole in this, and take your top, take your top, and go to a, a buffing wheel, like a wire buffing wheel, and buff that, knock the shine off of it. And this is just a piece of uh, serving string for bow, bow string, that's all it is. A good hefty thread, what you want here, right? And you just wrap it around it, and then JB weld that string on and that cap together. Now you've got a cap that you're not going to lose because if you don't do this, you're gonna, this is going to fall off in the weeds out there, whatever, and it's gone. Okay, so that's it. Let's me fire up a smoker and let's get out here and try to get something done here before this lightning bolt smack me in the ass. 
All right, guys, one more quickie thing I forgot to tell you before we get going here. The, uh, the Sorolla belt, I have it on me now, okay? I'll put these little deals on here. It pulls this veil down away from my face, a very slight pressure. I just put two uh, key rings here on this veil, sewed it in quickly, and you take a little little bungee and put that there. It's just enough pressure to pull that down to where this thing don't lay up on your face and they sting the crap out of your face. Uh, the Sorolla belt I have on now is working great. I mean, I have still have a little issue in the low spine. I wear it 24-7. I get out of bed in the morning and I'm 90% healed, guys. I'm not kidding you. I have the inserts in my feet now and me in my boots. That's the other thing. I got the inserts in there. I'm, my feet are starting to work good. Yeah. I've got the corrective ones in my other shoes that I've already worn the required amount of time. I'm almost up to eight hours. I asked, I called, well actually they called me. Pretty good outfit. They called to check on me. Uh, good, fe uh, good Feet Store is the name of the place. And they checked on me to see how I'm doing. And, and uh, I told them it's fantastic between the inserts and my Sorolla belt. I'm back in action. I'm working bees. Yeah, I'm working bees, guys. So that was the only thing holding me up was, was my was my back situation. So anyway, yes, I'm working bees. So check out if you're getting bad down in the back. Check out the. Uh, SI belt go online pull up SI belt uh, I got rid of my chiropractor for now I don't think I'm ever going back I don't think see a need for it I'm doing my own thing between my tilt table Sorolla belt and inserts we're back in we're back in action let's get out here and work these bees All right, guys, I got a little gold bond here. Only reason I use the gold bond is to get my meat hooks in these gloves with no, no issues. You, you get your hands a little sweaty here, and uh, you'll have a heck of a time getting in these gloves. And these are the extra large, by the way. So obviously I got big meat hooks, okay? So then you then you do the same thing again and put on double gloves. I don't know how bad these bees are going to be, guys, but they can actually sting through double they can sting through these Harbor Freight double seven mil gloves so maybe my girls have bigger butt stingers than yours I don't know but but I'm kind of a big butt man anyway so you know don't tell Miss Daisy I said that okay she might take offense to that Okay, I'm ready. Okay, guys, what I got here, I just, nice little trailer platform here where I can work. I've got my kitty litter pan here. I got a funnel. I've already fired up my smoker. Got a bunch of pine needles here. We've got excluders. I've had to add two of those excluders because I've got a, a different size box. Regular standard frames, but different size box because I call them that, that box the uh, the Stevo beefy beehive. So we have a little bit bigger to add a piece 
had to add a piece here a little, little gorilla tape no big deal yeah so we'll go around i'm gonna start right here with this one and see what's going on with it let's get into this hive right here and see what we got So our mission here is to make this top box a honey box. Oh, bunch of bees up here. Bunch of bees up here, baby. Very light. Looks like she's laying pretty good. Quite a few bees on this one. This is kind of good. They haven't they haven't really cranked done much up here at all. So this is kind of great. Okay, they're just fooling around here. Not much action up here at all. I don't want any brood up here. We're going to put an excluder here on this one. But while we're here fooling around, let's let's do an alcohol wash. Let's make sure our queen ain't here. We don't need to cook her down this time of year. No. No, we don't. Let's not fry our queen and do something stupid like that. Okay, I don't see mama. You can use it. This thing, <laughs> this mite thing comes with a cap and all. But it's kind of sloppy. At least it is with this one. I don't know if the other ones seal better or not. You're supposed to be able to pick them up, shake them, and all that. But I find this works just as well. I spin it. I shake it up and down. Spin it like a washing machine, you know. Alright, let's see what we got here.
I'm seeing what I wanted to see. And that is no mites, guys. No friggin' mites. Are the, guys, are the bee gods with me or what today, huh? Are the bee gods with old Steve-O or what? Come on, bro, work with me here, please. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. Settle down, girl. I know you're not happy. I know you're not happy, okay? I know this. Steve-O knows this. It's cloudy. Storms are coming. God, we've been getting hit here, guys, with rain. Oh, my God. I've been getting an inch, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, half inch every friggin' day. And I'll tell you what, that swamp out there, she's getting full, guys. She is getting full. And we're in the hurricane season. And if we get a big hurricane coming through here, yeah, things can get a little soupy around here, but so far, so good. Okay, guys, see, see what I do here? I, you know, I just, I don't, I've modified it here. But I am not chopping these down to 50s, 5s, because one day they can be thrown on some 10 frames, see? And these are actually bigger than a standard 10. That's no big deal. If they were just to go on 10, you could rip off this piece of tape and it would fit a 10 just fine. So that's what I've done. And the 10s, usually, they make them in 8 frame. They don't make them in 5 frame. But you can make your own in 5 if you want to get nip and tucky here. But just leave them, leave them whole. You can they'll be versatile then, see? And it doesn't hurt a thing to have these hanging out. I mean, maybe if they were hanging out for months on end, you would get some UV damage in here. But I'm not worried about UV damage, guys. They're not on there that long, okay? All right, let's move on. I'm talking too much and not getting enough done here. Okay, guys, I've got, I got a bunch more to do here. I got the bunch over here. I come around the corner. Uh, it's, getting, it's getting cloudy, but I got to get this done. I'm so glad you guys came by to see old Steve-O at his base camp today. This has been a real treat. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Who? It's Elvis, guys. Wait a minute. He's talking. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tell the audience what? Oh, guys. Elvis. Elvis has been coming to me here lately. Yeah, he hangs out with me out in the bee yard. I, I asked him one day, why... Of all the millions of people on planet Earth, Elvis Presley comes to see old Steve-O. And you know what he told me? Because you're one of the few that subscribe to that channel. I have to, it's a pay channel. Miss Daisy got it. That, that there's Frank Sinatra, you can get Elvis, you can get Dean Martin and all that. And she picked Elvis. And so every day, Every day, we listen to Elvis. Every day when we're in her truck. What is that, El? He said, thank you very much. And what He said also that you guys have been an excellent audience, audience. And thank you very much for checking into Steve-O's channel. God bless you. And I will see you guys very soon. Get out there, work them bees. Make sure uh, that hive, hey, no roll of mites. I, I guess the bee gods are with old Steve-O. They got to be. It's that and Elvis. Elvis, what did you say? Yes. Thank you very much, he said. And God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you guys. And I'll see you very soon. We'll get in some, we'll get in some more adventures. How's that? See you soon. Bye-bye.